At the age of four, Robert Eugene Otto, who actually likes to be called Jean, received a doll. This doll was given to him as a gift from the servant of the house. And it was believed that this doll was cursed with black magic or voodoo because the servant was not happy with the family. Jean named the doll after himself, Robert. And Jean's parents noticed straight away a strange and ominous type eerie feeling when the doll was around. And this all started when they heard their son Jean talking to Robert the doll. And then he would reply in a different voice, like the doll was talking back to him. That's what they thought at the time. Later they revealed they thought it was actually the doll talking back to him. Jean's personality began to change and he started getting to trouble often, but blamed it on Robert. Neighbors said they saw the doll moving in the window when the family was not around. And the family claimed that a laughing sound would come from the doll. And at times they would even see it running from room to room by itself. I know hindsight's 2020, but personally, I just can't figure out why they didn't remove the doll. Because what was to come in the next few years was extreme. Household objects would move on their own and Jean's toys would turn up mutilated. Robert, the doll, would apparently lock people in rooms, including the attic, and the servant turnover in the house, well, let's just say it was very high. Jean's bizarre fascination and relationship with the doll continued throughout his life. And when he got married, he continued to live with his new wife and the doll in the same family home. It was said that his relationship with his wife was not healthy. In fact, it was abusive. And every time his wife would approach him about it, he would claim it was the doll doing it. So when Jean passed away, his wife leased the property immediately and left Robert the doll behind with it, hidden in the attic. In 1972, new tenants moved into the house and their 10 year old daughter was exploring the attic and found Robert the doll and claimed him as her own. The girl began to notice the doll's ominous presence and soon began to see it move and it started talking to her. And it wasn't long before she claimed that the doll was terrorizing her, physically harming her. And to this day, she still claims she's traumatized by it. 30 years later, she claims the doll tried to kill her and she's still haunted by the memories of her time in that house. Robert was given to the East Martella Museum in Key West. He was locked into a glass display cabinet where visitors today can visit him and can experience his eerie, ominous presence for themselves, if they dare. And let this be a warning to you, the most chilling part of this story is this picture. If you look behind the doll, you will see hundreds of letters. Every time someone wants to take a photo of Robert in his display case, they must first ask for permission. If Robert refuses, the doll's head will tilt. But those letters behind the doll on display, they're testimonies of the people who did not ask for permission. In these testimonies, they beg the doll for forgiveness. So next time someone asks you who Robert the doll is, now you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do it. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're enjoying the series. And let me know if you knew about the doll beforehand. I'm sure it's a pretty common one, but I still wanted to touch on this one. Hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys soon. Stay spooky. Bye.